Welcome to the MSI channel where I try to resurrect an old MSI 8080 computer. All right, I thought we'd do some assembly language programming. Uh, do the same programs that we did on the front panel, but this time we'll do them in an assembler. So uh, let's start off with uh, with WordStar. Oh, need to be on the C drive. <clears throat> It does take a while, doesn't it? Wow. Okay. So we're going to open a, uh, a document and we will call it uh, account. Oh, I should have put dot ASM. Now we can rename that. All right. So, uh, uh program geez can't type today program to increment a uh, shoot register and this ah I really can't type today. Display on MSI. All right. Um, org 100 X and start. Increment A. Output FF. Jump start. I think that's it. So we'll start there. And we will rename count equal to count. All right. We can assemble count. Uh, it's going to be an error. I guess it doesn't like the. Uh, FF without a zero in a front. I think that was true back in the day. I think anytime every number had to start with a zero. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Control X goes down. Control D goes over. Put in a zero here. Control X goes down. Control D goes over. Zero. All right. Control K X. All right, and ASM count. Looks good. Let's do a uh, list of uh, count. Oops. Dot print. Okay, so it's org orgs at one hundred. And we have our 3C, D3, FF, C3, 0, 001. Uh, jump start. Why is it jump? Oh, jump 100. Yeah, jump 100. Good. Because it's a low byte first, then high byte. 
So the C3001 is actually jumped to 0100. OK, so we can do a load count. That'll create the dot com. And now we can say count. And uh, I can stop and increment. And this looks like it's working. OK. So you'll have to trust me, but the program is program's working. Um, and um, it's not very exciting for you. So let's go ahead and change the program a bit. We'll make it a little better. OK, so oops, go back to the C drive. All right, uh, count. ASM. All right, so um, instead of talking to the front panel, let's talk to the terminal. And we will add, we will add our delay and see if things will work. All right, so we will come down and over and okay so we are going to add oops let's go up control d goes over all right so we are going to do a oops dec decrement b decrement the uh, b register count down B register, okay. And we are going to do a jump dot zero to start. Loop until zero, okay. Let's go ahead and comment everything. Oops. Count up. A register. All right. Now, instead of outputting to um, the front panel, instead, oops, instead, we are going to output to terminal, which is address 22. And we are going to output uh, move immediate to A. We are going to create a um, period. So it'll go dot, 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 dot. Um, and the dots will come out at a certain speed depending on our delay loop. All right. So first of all, we need to know the ASCII for a dot. ASCII for a dot looks like 2E. So 0 to e hex. All right, and jump back to start. Uh, okay, so this is ASCII dot <clears throat> I might be able to even type it in that way. I'm not sure about this uh, assembler, but possible. Output put to console. Okay. ASM count. Load count. Count. Oh, there we go. Oh, the dot's coming up fast. Wow, faster than I thought. All right, so we need to slow it down more. I don't know how to stop the program other than rebooting a CPU, so we'll have to do that. 
So we'll have to put it on our double loop to see if that solves things. Okay, words to our account, ASM. So we'll do it with the nested loops, uh, 255 nested inside of 255. And we've used the B register. So let's go down, let's see here. Let's insert some lines. Uh, now we're going to decrement the C register. Count down, oops, down C, register, and another jump, not zero to start. And there's our 255 by 255, 256 by 256 D, lay loop, All right? Right. Let's look at our code. All right. So we have a decrement B, which is the zero five, if you remember. We have the jump zero, jump not zero, then increment A. Um, oh, this doesn't look right, does it? Where's our C? What happened to our? Oh, we haven't assembled it yet. Yes, some count. Oh, we did assemble. We did assemble a count, didn't we? Hmm. Interesting. Let's go back and look. List count. Yeah. B C. Okay. Let's see if the PRN file is okay. List count dot PRN. There it is. So we're going to decrement B. Increment C, increment, output a period, and do it again. So load count, count. There we go. Excellent. So I think we can do everything on the screen now if we want to do programs like this and not have to look at the flashy lights on the front panel. Although probably everybody likes the flashy lights on the front panel, so we'll probably still be doing some of that. All right, thanks.